Good Monday afternoon, everybody. Uh, just give it a quick minute, let everyone come on in. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Hope everyone is refreshed and ready for a new week to begin. I think all you guys are going to enjoy some of the weirdness I have for you today. Matthew Davis, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm going to put you on camera, brother. Would you like to join us, Matthew? Raven Gregory, dude, Raven. Nice, dude, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Okay, Raven, I wanna put you on camera, boom. Everybody, we got a local celebrity here with us, wonderful writer, Raven Gregory. Oh, we can't put him on camera. What, what? Matthew Davis, how the heck are you? Val, how are you, Val? Dude, <laughs> I got so many great people coming in today. Whoa, someone's stripping the tables behind the camera. It's nuts, it's anarchy, it's crazy. It must be we're at HQ at Coffin Comics. Hell yeah, we are. Welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Um, we got a weird distortion going on in the feed, it looks like on my end. Big distortion. Okay, you're back. I went back. All right, let's see if it works. Is everyone feeding it all right? Feeding the beast, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just blew uh, Brandy's brain there for a second. Mm -hmm. That sounded really wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look, you can see my big belly. No, you can't. I'm hooligan. I'm scruffy and I'm fluffy, and I'm here for you guys today. Got a lot of new people. <laughs> so, a lot of friends. We got Raven Gregory. We got Val. We got everyone in the house. Well, there's a lot to go over today, guys. So, give your shout outs. Give your shout outs. I had a weird, ugly distortion on my Facebook feed, but I um, wanted to let you guys know because you're going to enjoy the show because I have to say, malevolent decimation multiple times today and I know you guys love that so real quick I want to let you all know that we are offering up the last of those items from the Kickstarter so if you haven't gotten it especially in the edition you're wanting you might want to jump on to the coffin comic shop and check it out because this stuff is gonna go quick um, I was actually pretty surprised what was available uh, for me to show you all, because a lot of stuff is like, oh, I'll bring this up. Oh, it's sold out. Oh, I'll bring that up. That's sold out too. So get what you're wanting now and fast, because they're going quick. Like right now, premiere edition, malevolent decimation, numero uno. Uh-oh, are they already? Miguel, Miguel, say it again. Malevolent decimation, Miguel. Oh! I'm practicing, God damn it. <laughs> We have copies of these available. Get them, especially if you've been picking up the premiere editions with the chapters on the top. Get them. This is great. I'm glad we started doing this. Um, a lot of people are always wondering, where do I start? Where's the beginning? So Brian, in his wisdom, was like, let's put chapters right up top. And that's what we're doing to help you guys figure out where the story is, but it's also to help you guys show new readers and people are interested Hey, where do I start? Well, let's follow the little chapters right there in the corner. Bye, Brandy. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Brandy was operating the camera for me for a little bit, so thank you. Miguel, um, I know you guys have been laying down a challenge for the fest for me to say, take a drink and then say titles three times fast. I'm prepping myself for that at Swarm Fest. I'm prepping that for Swarm Fest, so here we go. Next up, Malevolent Decimation. <laughs> this is the Blackout Edition. These are really cool. Um, we've done them for the last 
two, three Kickstarters, haven't we? With whiteouts and blackouts. And these are really popular. We only do 10%. Justice for Jeff. Well, <laughs> Jeff has plenty of justice. He doesn't look like a whipped boy. It was just that one day he was listening to New Kids on the Block or what have you. You know, I've worked in the warehouse with Brandy. I know the drill. I know what to expect when working in that facility area. You're going to hear New Kids on the Block multiple times. So, you know, you just got to go with the punches. And if you don't have your headphones, well, that's on you. Boo hoo. Sad clown. Okay. This is the blackout edition. A lot of these, um, if I believe, we only do blackout and whiteout editions like 10% of the run, and we just tip them in. So they're randomly inserted. We have a few available for you guys to purchase. Get them, because there's not a lot of those produced. Another great one, we have the amazing homage by the awesomely talented Marat Mikez. This is the homage to the uh, Phoenix, first appearance from X-Men. I really love what he did there. And I like that she's, instead of coming out of the water like the original, she's coming out of the graveyard. Very appropriate. Very stunning. Very beautiful. It's Marat Michaels. Now his head's going to look like... <laughs> Next up, we have Malevolent Decimation. Did I do good? Yay! All right. This is the naughty version. No need for finger sensors. I brought the sticky tabs. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, uh, next time, um, Brandy and I have been looking at little skulls for pasties for some of our naughty additions. Is traumatic. Well, well, for some people, new kids on the block is traumatic. For Brandy, it's like the second coming. Like, oh, look, the and she sounds just like that when they come on. And then she does her little dances around the warehouse. You've seen the videos. You've seen how mortified her daughter is while she does it. It's a lot of fun to witness. We also have a nice 24-page black and white premiere editions available. These also have been very, very popular. Um, the last few ones we've done with La Muerta, they've done really well. Um, the previous Lady Death Kickstarter and the last two Hell Witch ones, we always put the nice little black and white editions in there. Just to give you a little idea of what it looks like. It's basically this pencil sketches, no inks, no text. So you can see the beauty of the art in its raw, unfiltered glory. And this is some really beautiful, beautiful work in here, guys. Seems like every issue we do, um, we just up our game a little bit. Every notch, it goes up. So this is just a few of the books. Um, that we have available. I'm sure once um, as things progress, we'll be adding more um, as we go on. Depending on what's available, they say this stuff goes out real quick. So remember, we're sworn to you. All right, there's also 11 by 17 prints. That's naughty. Make sure I put the, them in nice sleeves. Sabine Riches, 11 by 17 edition she did for us. This is really pretty. I really like the expression she puts on Lady Death's faces. I mean, they're very beautiful, very soft. And for a character like Lady Death, who's very, you know, she's a powerful woman. Um, she gives her this soft quality that's like, wow, I don't see that a lot. And only certain artists seem to have a flair with uh, making her have this, wow, sweet, innocent look. But man, she could tear you to pieces. It's almost like, um, but you better beware. Yes, like a lot of women, you got to be careful, man. Women are very strong creatures, and they will take you out to the trash if you cross the line. This is the Naughty Malevolent Decimation Commemorative Edition. I said it right, Miguel. Woohoo! <laughs> Val, I like you. How are you and Raj doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for uh, checking out the show. I do these every Monday, 4 to 5 p.m. Arizona time, which is right now Pacific Daylight time. When it changes, I believe we go to mountain time. So 
we don't change, everyone changes around us, as I like to say in Arizona. This is the worship cover print. Our 11, 17 by 17s are roughly about $16 each. Everything on the Coffin Comics store, um, click on the link to order what you'd like. And there's tons of stuff up there, guys. We're always, always putting up new stuff. Well, there's always something going on here. We're always creating uh, new additions, um, lenticular covers, metal covers, metal jeweled covers, jewel covers, premium foils. We do it all. It's almost like we took all the cool flashiness of the 90s comics and we just keep them coming and we take it to a whole nother level. So uh, on this show, if anyone's new, um, you do not need to do shout outs. You just click on the links to shop. There's one up there for the Coffin, uh, Coffin Comics store. There's also one for our eBay store. And there's also other links for like joining our VIPs newsletter, which keeps you up to date to all the things we were doing, which we have a lot of stuff. That VIP newsletter is probably um, has the most information, uh, I think, put out by a publisher weekly. So we're always putting out new content and letting you know what's going on here. We also have stuff going on on our YouTube channel. So click on those links, check out what we have to say. And also there's even a link for a 15 page preview to the first Coffin Comics Lady Death volume, Chaos Rules. So lots of cool stuff for you guys to check out. Also have the uh, Malevolent Decimation Commemorative Edition. If you notice here, there's only 199 of those made. This is number 63. So uh, this is the first one I pulled out of the front. So as you can see, there's still some copies left. Everything that you order can be signed if it's signable. There's some things that I'm like, I don't know how he would sign that, but I've seen Brian sign just about anything and everything that's in this uh, headquarters. Two more other stunning 11 by 17 prints we have here in the store. These were originally only available via Kickstarter. Excuse me if you hear my tummy rumbling. Uh, for some reason after lunch, I got even hungrier. So more fluff for this guy. Um, <laughs> in case you guys haven't noticed, we have a very cool artist that will be doing artwork on the Treacherous Infamy, or our next Lady Death Kickstarter, Mike Mayhew. He is a local artist who is, used to live here in Arizona. He now lives in the California area, and he has done books for Dark Horse, like their uh, Star Wars Lucas Edition. Um, see, Brian will sell anything. Guitar picks signed by Brian. That is something I have yet to see. So there you go. There's the full image for the original cover by Diego Bernard for Treacherous Infamy. I can't believe I can say that properly. And then there's one of the Mayhew covers. Um, Brian has got a plan to, uh, each week reveal something for you guys for the upcoming Lady Death Kickstarter. Please stay tuned. Please check it out. We, we've got some amazing stuff planned for you all, and I'm glad you guys uh, have joined us. Uh, Miguel, how long have you been uh, with us here at Coffin Comics? I want to say probably since the beginning, because I remember you from uh, back in the 90s uh, during the Chaos era. Uh, you run around picking up uh, Chaos Comics stuff. And I remember the old Bean Clubs and stuff like that. So thank you, Miguel. Thank you. And everyone else who's been with us uh, since the very early days, thank you very much for your continued support. And all you new folks, welcome. We welcome all. Also, some other stuff uh, on the stores, the new metal cards. There are metal card sets available. This is the worship. Really, I, I love that we make these. The first time I saw a metal card, it really, really blew my mind. Jay Taylor, evening to you as well. How are you doing today, sir? Thank you for joining us. And um, where are you joining us from? Where are you watching from? Everyone give a shout out to where you're at. Let's see. Where, represent your area. I love this one. The age 25 years, Lady Death, Wolf Bane. Look at that. I bet that would be a great barrel of whiskey. Whatever's brewing in there would be so tasty. Yum, yum, yum. I think I'm going to have a apple cider when I get home. 
This is the Naughty Thoughts. We have the 11 by 17 print. This is the really awesome metal card that is real metal. I don't think you can hear that. <laughs> but there you are. Gives you a brief description of the artist and the name of the book on the back. And we are the masters of the metal cards. First time I ever saw metal cards or even metal covers was uh, 2015, working for Brian and Fran at the Phoenix Comic Con. I think it was still Phoenix Comic Con back in those days. Here is the uh, Naughty Ladies. So, okay, look at that. Beautiful. Her art is really, really, really coming into fruition. All right, we got near Kansas City, Green St. Louis is in the house. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Jay. Glad you guys could join us. Thank you. Uh, anyone want to jump up on camera with me? I like to share our show with everyone. So if one of you guys are willing, I'm going to pick a volunteer. Let's go with see if I can get you on right here, Matt. This will let me. And it's not. Well, fiddle faddle. Um, I definitely like where you're coming from, man. Jay Taylor, thank you. Give you a like there. Thank you, guys. The last metal card, we have the Candle Mask by the very talented and popular Jesse Wishman. I think... Uh, to me, this is probably one of the most beautiful covers he has done for us. I, I just really love the detailing and the costuming. I really love how it just, just wraps itself around her body. And God, that is just really beautiful. I could look at that for hours. It's a really beautiful art. Thank you, Jesse Wichman. We really appreciate all the hard work, along with all the other artists and talented folks that um, put out books for us and help create this universe called the Coffin Verse that we're always bringing up for you. Um, quick announcement, this Wednesday, San Diego Comic-Con at home, Summer Sizzlers, we are offering some very cool stuff. It's gonna be three fun-filled days, fun entertainment and shopping. Um, here comes the San Diego Comic-Con at home. Starting Wednesday, we are offering limited edition comics, prints, and more. We'll even open the Comic Comics vault and I think you're gonna love this because we're going beyond the vault. I have been doing some serious digging. I found some really cool stuff from early coffin days, some old jeweled edition, old metals, number three editions, got some of those coming your way for people who like low serial numbers, also APs, BPs, and uh, artist files, those are mock-ups. I think I even got a couple mock-ups in there, so. You got to do that. We're going to be opening the vault here for an hour. You get one hour to pick these things. Each box will have different items. Some of them, there's only going to be one of each. There's a couple things we might have a couple or two or three copies of. But once they're done, whatever is not sold, we'll close it up and offer it um, at a later time, or we won't offer it at all. So you got to stay tuned. That's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Everything um, launches at this Wednesday at 9 a.m. Uh, specific daylight time. That's 12 p.m. Eastern daylight time. At Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific daylight time, we're doing a Jesse Wichman panel. So you got to check that out. Also, every day from 4 to 5 p.m., we will be opening the vault. And we are going to be offering some great stuff to you. I am blessed that... Brian has let me do the Indiana Jones digging around for the, all these beautiful treasures we got here. So check it out. Wednesday, starting at 9, we're going to have lots of exclusives. Uh, everything is expected to be shipping estimated by August 21st. So definitely jump on it. Check it out. There's also going to be a Brian Polito Comic Con at Home panel. That'll be Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So check it out, really cool stuff. Um, if you guys remember when we did the uh, Comic-Con from home, picture that, but it's gonna be in San Diego. And some of the stuff, um, more artist proofs, uh, rare hand-selected items that uh, Brian has picked for me to show you guys. Um, 
no discounts on the vault items. We do apologize, guys. These are the creme de la creme. These are the treasures that when we open the vault, we offer those to you. So you definitely um, are, well, you're just going to love what we're going to pull out for you guys. It's going to be amazing. Um, so definitely, there is no discounts on the vault items. I need to let you guys know. Um, so join Brian Polito and myself, the hooligan, uh, for our Facebook Live broadcast as we show off the secret vault stuff. Three vault sessions one day from 4 p.m. specific daylight time to 5 p.m. So definitely check it out. Um, the Brian uh, Comic-Con at Home panel, How to Thrive as an Indie Comics Creator Now. Um, I think it's definitely cool. If you ever watched interviews with Brian, um, they're a hoot. Um, he is got lots of energy. He's got lots of information. And he's a mad scientist because his mind just keeps cranking out these ideas. I don't think the mind's brain ever shuts down. It's always going. But here's some of the exclusives we're going to be offering to you guys. Are you ready for this? Speaking of Jesse Wichman, there's going to be the Lady Death number one. Jesse Wichwin, nice edition. Those will be $20. They'll be limited to 250 copies. Um, this product will be strictly limited to three copies per customer per household. Duplicate orders will be canceled. So you got a limited three here, folks. And what would a Jesse Wichman swimsuit be that's a nice edition? Unless we don't offer up the naughty edition. And these are interiors are various pinup artists from um, Coffin Comics. So you get stuff like, uh, there'll be definitely some Witchman art, Dan Mendoza, Richard Ortiz, a lot of our uh, big names who've done many, many editions with us. And this is all new art, so definitely check it out. Um, I will let you know, no, there will not be a sensor bar on the cover. We don't do that. We just have to put it up there so we don't get in trouble. Bob, Bob, everyone, Bob is in the house. Everyone say hey to Bob. Bob, how you doing today? It's always good to see you on here. Hope uh, life is treating you well and you're doing good. Also, on these naughty editions, they're going to be $30. Um, again, the product is strictly limited to three copies per customer per household. Duplicate orders will be canceled. And there is also going to be a Jesse Wichman Naughty Metal Edition. These will be $100. Only 26 will be made. Why the number 26? Because it's Lady Death's 26th anniversary. And again, note, the sensor bars do not appear on the actual cover. Uh, there is a limit of one per customer per household on the Naughty Metal Editions. So get up early, get ready at 9 or wherever time that is on your part of the world, noon time on the East Coast, and get ready. Refresh that page. Refresh that page because these things go so quick. Um, it amazes me how fast our editions blow out. Figure, oh, okay, well, it should take a little while for 26 copies to sell. Um, but no, usually it takes literally seconds. Um, another one is the Lady Death Swimsuit Source Song Nice Edition. This is one beautiful cover. They're going to be $20, limited to 250 copies, and there is a limit of three per customer per household. Wow, these are really gorgeous covers. And then we also have the Sora Song Naughty Edition. These will be $30, again, limited to 250 copies. Three copies per customer per household. So definitely get up early, join us on Wednesday, and join us for all the fun. We're going to have three days of fun. We try to make things like a con out here for you guys. It's wild. It's crazy. Coffin Comics. We're known as the bad boys and girls of the industry. That's why in a lot of shows, they put us in the corner. You can't keep us down. No, 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 no. We just rise to the occasion and have good times. Next up, one of my favorite ones. Um, this ranks up there, right up there with the uh, Deathzilla. Lady Death Hot Shots number one, the Death Gun Warriors edition by Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer. Um, any of you kids that grew up in the, anyone grew up in the 70s and 80s, Shogun Warriors were some of the coolest toys you could get uh, under your Christmas tree or as a birthday gift. I love those toys. They had die cast metal ones, but they mostly had the big, God, they were what, 
almost two foot tall action figures. They shot missiles, they shot their fists off, they did a Godzilla, they did a Rodan, so you know I had those. Mazinga, really cool giant robots from Japan. And Marvel Comics did a comic book series, of course, because they did their, had their hands in every licensing in the 70s and 80s. And we are doing an homage to that, the Death Gun Warriors. So if you're a fan of me, of giant robots and kaiju, when you're a kid of the 70s, this is going to be something just to warm your heart. I was so excited to, when Brian showed me this. So again, we keep putting out stuff that I know you're going to like and I'm going to want to buy. Also, there's going to be a Whitman variant. If anyone doesn't know, Whitman was a company that published comics in the 70s and 80s when newsstands were closing down and publishers were trying to get their books into, <coughs> excuse me, uh, trying to get their books into other uh, resources uh, like department stores like JCPenney's, Kmart's, uh, Whitman, um, probably were around for a few years, but I remember uh, getting copies of them and really liking them. Uh, now the Whitman variant covers are pretty rare, but they all have the little diamond shape. So we're doing homage to that. Um, there's just gonna be 10 of these variants um, distributed randomly throughout the print run. So randomly someone will get one of these rare editions, which is very cool. And that's to show you what the original looked like from 1978. Very cool. Even the text is right up there. I mean, we we really know how to do it. We really do. Let's see, I had the sugar warriors. Yeah, I actually have like two or three copies. I, I wish I could get my hands on the rest of the series. Um, I, I, I love those toys and I loved reading the comics when I was a kid. Um, another thing that will be available is the Lady Death Goddess Gold series sketch card. Uh, these are randomly sealed original Lady Death sketch card measuring five by seven. No coup cards are alike. They are limited to just 700 cards. Possible artists include uh, number one through 500. There's an Amber Stone, uh, what, 10, 10, Andrew Feld, Felder, Arlie Tucker, Baruch Merling, Bianca Thompson, Bill Mouse, uh, Celor. I hope I said that right. Dave Beatty, Don Walker, just to name a few. Um, there is an order limit. This product is strictly limited to two cards per customer per household. Duplicate orders may be canceled. So all of this stuff will be available at the Lady Death Comic Con at home. Um, and of course, what would we be without 11 by 17 prints? I'm looking at you, Gary Compton. I don't know if you watch these shows, but I'm going to give a shout out to Gary Compton. He probably has the most uh, impressive collection of Coffin Comics 11 by 17s. Um, it's a very sweet man. I always look forward to uh, seeing him when we're ever doing shows. Um, so I'd like to uh, give a shout out to Gary Compton, and I'm sure he'll be adding these to his collection. Um, these are all 11 by 17. Everything you see can be signed by Brian Polito. There's the uh, Source Song. Cake colors. There's also going to be the Lady Death Chainmail, also by Sora Song. $16 on these. Again, I'll put it out there. Sensor bars do not appear on the actual print. Some people think they do. Does she? Car Man, Carmen has bought so much stuff from me off of eBay. Um... Uh, that's someone's collection that I would love to see some photos of, Bob. I bet it is impressive. And I have also seen some of the things she's posted uh, online from her collection. But that's one thing I like about um, on Facebook, seeing everyone's collections and everyone swapping and bartering to uh, get what they need to complete the collections. It's a lot of fun to watch. And it just shows that Coffin Comics has grown a, a really wonderful community of fans and the Swarm and the Fiends. And um, pass it along, guys. Inter uh, please introduce people to the Lady Death series of Coffin Comics. We can't do what we do without your support and help, and we greatly appreciate it. Okay, what else do we got? You can also order these um, 11 by 17 prints as a set for $48. Um, 
So that'll be the uh, Scorcher by Jesse Witchman, the Lay by Sora Song, Chain Mail Sora Song, and the Death Gun Warriors by Stephen Butler. Uh, and again, there is no extra cost to get the book signed. Um, we also include a COA, which each edition. Um, there's also going to be metal cards, Jesse Witchman Scorcher metal card. There's only going to be 99 of these ones made. Uh, traditionally, sometimes we make maybe, what, 199, but sometimes we'll go just down to 99. So check them out. And then there'll also be the Chainmail metal card. Bob, how was your weekend, by the way? I hope it was a good one. Also, I would like to announce Lady Death, Treacherous Infinity, Chapter 12, Mike McLean in you, uh, interview, and more art revealed. We are three weeks away from the next Lady Death Kickstarter. Look at this. Look at look at what Mayhew's creating for us. This is just beautiful, man. Look at that. So beautiful. Bob, I'm glad you had an outstanding. Carmen, how was your weekend? Look at that. Mike Mayhew. Mike Mayhew is doing Lady Death. Stunning. Beautiful. Treacherous Infamy. Probably the one title of Lady Death I can't butcher next to Apocalyptic Abyss. <laughs> Check it out, look at that. We got Mike Mayhew doing some beautiful covers and Brian's gonna be revealing new stuff to you guys as we get closer to the launch of the Kickstarter. Back over here, we also do CGC grading. You got anyone who's interested in getting the books graded? All right, let's see. This is one thing that I really, reason why I bring up the VIP's newsletter. Um, not only do you get news, but you have a really great section where Jimmy does interviews um, with a lot of the talent, the writers and the artists that um, really bust their butts for us and really do amazing work. So definitely check this out. There is a link to sign up for the VIP's newsletter. Wait, this is, this is only half of what I have for you guys. This is how much stuff we put into it. We really go all out because we love what we do and we love you. So Wednesday, August 12th will be the world premiere launch of Lady Death, Chapter 12, Treacherous Infamy. Look at that. Mayhew. This is the legendary edition. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Newsletter was 52 pages. We give you so much information. It's always fresh, new, great things. Really. Jimmy works his butt off to get this information to you guys. Um, this is what the hollow foil will be looking like for that Kickstarter. Beautiful. I cannot wait for this to get finished. It is sick, Jay Taylor. It is sick. <laughs> the reveals are always the best. Yeah, it is. Uh, Brian is a hell of a showman, man. I'll tell you guys what. This is another, oh, we're doing a new lenticular cover. Look at that. I cannot wait to get those in your guys' hands. I cannot wait to get these in. This is just going to be great. This Kickstarter, just like all of ours, just boom, boom, boom. We keep taking it to another level. There is no plateau at Coffee Comics. Here we go. This is the, ah, cut off what it is, but right here. I don't think that's the naughty one. Wow. That's just beautiful. Wow, guys. We, we've really got some great stuff for you. And again, thank you. All right. You guys ready what the jeweled edition is going to look like? Look at this. This is going to be so amazing. I can't wait to see Shannon's handiwork on this. This is just an amazing piece. This is going to be the jeweled edition for the next Kickstarter coming up. Volume issue 12. And I love the homage. I love the homage. Anyone knows me? I'm a big Superman fan. I really love this homage. And the detailing uh, right here at the bottom is just spot on. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece. So that's the homage for Treacherous Infamy. Anyone who hasn't uh, followed our uh, Kickstarters, you got to check it out. It, it is a lot of fun. We lot, have a lot of fun um, presenting them to you, but it's also a lot of fun to see the reactions from folks 
Um, I can't wait till things get back to normal. We can do them in HQ again. Right here, you guys ready? Here's the cosplay cover. Boom, 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 ba boom, ba boom. That is a beautiful cover. Check it out. Oh, you wanted to see the metal one, Carmen? Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Well, here's the naughty edition. It's beautiful, of course. Let's see. Carmen wants to see the metal. You know what, Carmen? Let's see what we can do. Wait, what? Well, it looks like uh, when I printed it, it cut off the metal version. I'm so sorry, Carmen. But actually, I think that might have been one of the ones I shown earlier. Let's see, lenticular. I think this might be the metal one. But I don't want to say something and it not be true because, yeah, that's not cool. So, Carmen, I think my printout cut it off. But if I find it, I will show it to you. And not only that, I mean, you're going to be watching the show. I always see you on their Kickstarters. So that's just a little piece of the percentage of 52-page VIP Spoon Center. We don't play around when we ask you to sign up. This keeps you up to date with everything, guys. Jimmy works really hard. And you're right, Miguel. Jimmy rules. All right. We've got a couple stuff to go over on Facebook for y'all. Oh, Facebook. Jimmy Cricket. I meant eBay. Hello, hello. Goodness gracious me. What time did we go? Oh, wow. Time flies when you're having fun. And I gotta say, I always have fun with you guys because we have the best audience in comics, in my opinion. I don't mean to be, you know, brag and all, but you guys freaking rock, so we're sworn to you. A couple things that are on the eBay, you can click on the links. Uh, we have the La Muerta Descent. I got two Chrome editions. This is from the first La Muerta Kickstarter. Oh, really, Carmen? I believe you're right. I don't think my uh, printer printed everything, which isn't surprising. We also have La Muerta Descent Luxury Edition. I have two of these left. Um, this is the first image that I ever saw of La Muerta, and it blew me away. Um, this image here got me to back the Kickstarter, um, just because I, just Brian explaining to me what it was, I just had to read that book, and damn, that is a fine cover. Another item we have, La Muerta Descent, we have the sketch edition. This is a publisher file, everyone. Only 20 of these were made. Richard Ortiz is the artist. We only have one available right now. I did have some other colored uh, variations of this, and those are gone. So this is a publisher file. It will be included with the awesome publishing file COAs. We also have the Descent Bang Bang. There was only 200 copies of this edition made. I think I have maybe four or five on the eBay store. Folks, um, let me know if anyone's shopping me on eBay, uh, message me. I would love, I love giving out cheaper rates for shipping. So let me know. And I also, I want to give a shout out to all the folks uh, out in Europe. We've getting a lot of uh, people uh, in Europe and Italy and everything on the other side of the pond. Um, checking out the eBay store and picking up a lot of really cool stuff. So thank you everyone on the other side of the world. We appreciate the business and thank you very much. Next up, I have Vault Book. This is the Miss Death Emerald Hollow Foil. Wonderful homage by Butler right there. Look at that. And again, a warning with all foil covers, do not look at them in direct sunlight. You will go blind, so you have been warned. In Arizona, it'll just fry out your retinas and you're blind for life. I also put out, um, I believe, the last of the Unholy Ruin homage editions. This was the Kickstarter offering. I believe I have like four or five left on eBay, and that's all she wrote on these. So this is the Unholy Ruin number one homage edition by the great Marat Michaels. <clears throat> Forgot to bring water with me today on the show. Um, Next up, the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss. This is the Hell Witch Edition. We only made 125 copies 
I was lucky to get my hand on a few of these and put them on the eBay store. So once these are gone, um, I'm hoping I can find some more. Um, but once they're gone on eBay, uh, nine times out of 10, some things I do not get again. They're just, that's it, game over, man, game over. Um, next up, we have the Lady Death Nightmare Symphony. This is the jeweled edition. I have very few jewels left on the eBay store. Uh, they've been definitely very popular, so folks have been scooping up. So what you see on the store is what I have left. Uh, I'm hoping to find um, some really cool, old, classic, early Coffin comic stuff. Um, so, uh, jumping up onto eBay, hopefully in the next few weeks. We just got to get through all the um, Comic-Con at home first. Get that taken care of and then start loading that up with some really beautiful books for y'all and very rare books. Number threes, publisher files, APs, the whole nine yards, mock-ups. Gotta get my hands on some more mock-ups. Uh, I have a few copies of these. Uh, I also put out scratch and dent editions as well. So you can get this um, in pristine edition for like $40, $50 or there's even, like I say, scratch and dents available as well. So this is the Lady Death Scorched Earth Naughty Edition. We only published 500. Uh, J.N. Salido blessed us with this beautiful, beautiful piece. Thank you, Jerry. Always loved your stuff, um, especially when you're doing stuff with Homage Studios, uh, which was an offshoot of Image, if I recall it probably the late 90s. Uh, Aria, beautiful book. I used to love to sell that to people. And if you haven't seen it, and you love the man's art, I highly recommend those back issues if you can find them or the old graphic novels if they're still in stock. If you see his work, pick it up. It's so worth it. And here's the uh, secret edition he did for us. It's basically a black and white version of this. I have to say, I, I'm i kind of split. Um, there's some days I just love the black and white, and other days it's like, wow, I really love the colors. So it's a beautiful piece of work. Um, I highly, highly recommend picking them up. Once they're done, like I say, that's it. Another fun little uh, book I found. This is probably the last one. So this is a uh, warehouse found. Warehouse, warehouse find. We have the Lady Death the Reckoning Tribute Naughty Edition by Mr. Harrigan. It's homage to Stephen Hughes. Brian Perry. When will there be new artists announced for the Sworn Fest? You mean Sworn Fest? Well, we'll make the announcements. Uh, we're ready to do stuff. I know um, with everything going on, who knows what's happening? Everything gets canceled, but you know we're still looking into it. We're still trudging along, and when we're ready to make the announcements, we're going to make announcements. We got all this Kickstarter, new Kickstarter. We got to get out of our hair and. Tons of other stuff. It's summer sins going on. So stay tuned. We'll let you know what's going to be going on with that. Um, so did you get your tickets to Swarm Set, Brian Perry? I hope you did, because I'd love to see you. Uh, apparently, there is a new uh, drinking game going around. Uh, thanks a lot, Miguel. Um, I have also Lady Death Hot Shots. Uh, this is the Lady Drac Hollow Foil. This edition just have to be signed by Brian. Comes with the little COA in the back. Um, I have only one of these signed available at the eBay store. Click on the link and it'll drop you right in. And you can go ahead and look around and do your shopping right there. This one I'm surprised none of y'all scooped up. So this is the Lady Death Hell Raiders Don McTeague Necro Sketch D. This is a publisher file. That is one hell of a cover. It is too your fault, Miguel. You're the one that said, hey, let's get it, have them do shots and then name off all the titles they have, tongue twister names. That was you, Miguel. Yeah, laugh it up there, fuzzball. <laughs> uh, also, I think Haley's the other one uh, that is also chiming in on this. So I blame the both of you. I think my, my wife even messaged Haley saying, are you trying to get my husband drunk at Sworn Fest? Because um, I think she wants to be there to watch it. Thank God, because I'm going to need a designated driver from the sounds of it. So I have one of these. This is a publisher file, guys. Look at that. That is a beautiful piece. <laughs> Carmen, I got to say, um, 
I picked up a bunch of stuff on, on eBay, and I've also picked some of your orders uh, in the past when I was working in the warehouse, and you probably got one hell of a collection. Um, and I love some of the posts of the things you have, because it's, it's great, because there's stuff that's like, I hope I can find something like that in the vault so I can hook up people who are like Carmen that are completists. So really love your collection, Carmi. It's one of a kind. Well, we'll start drinking. Okay, let's start drinking on Thursday. Next up is another uh, vault book. Uh, I do not think any of these are available on the store anymore. They're completely sold out. This is Lady Death Gallery, Naughty Paramour. This is it. This is a vault book. It's a number six. You're welcome, Carmen. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, we really appreciate you. So, uh oh, uh oh, is that Koopa here? Is that Resident Badass over there? It is. It is. You got to get on camera. Everyone wants to see Coop, right? Badass. You're disturbing my hailstorm. What? I'm listening to hailstorm. <laughs> Everybody. Coop is in the house. Everyone say, hey, Coop. Coop, what are you looking forward to uh, on this coming uh, little uh, San Diego Comic-Con at home we're doing on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? I'm hoping we get some kind of feeling like we're still there in San Diego. I've been there for 16 out of the last 18 years. It's mm -hmm. a real drag that none of us are going this year. So it's, um, it's nice that Polito's doing this for everybody here in Arizona. Hopefully you guys will enjoy yeah, guys, we're always, yes, justice for Jeff is the chant going on right now. <laughs> and that was Miguel that started it. <laughs> you get a big hug, Miguel. <laughs> you get a big hug. Oh, 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 there you go. Scott knows here. Um, how was the genie in the bottle today? How was that song? Did you hear that today? No. No, I think he actually remembered to bring his headphones this time. <laughs> Wait, yeah, he's got his ear pods, so uh, everybody, he was, um, it, it was all metal for him. He was totally, totally in heaven. So <laughs> he got away. He escaped. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't hear it. He doesn't hear it when we call his name either. We got to yell at him. <laughs> Have a good one, Coop. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Here's a couple other things that are on eBay. This is a BP edition. This is the uh, Miss Death Damaged Edition. It is designed to look like an old beat-up book that you would find at garage sales or, God, I remember uh, one of my uncles collected comics, and there was always a ring of coffee where he set his coffee down on it, all the spine damage and tears, because, I mean, he read the hell out of his books, but... You know, he never knew that some of them would be worth something one day. <laughs> Coop, you got, you got a whole group of people uh, looking out for you today. Another really cool one. We only make ones of these. It's a mock-up. Still available. Blasphemy Anthem Legend of War mock-up edition. Got one of these. This is it. Once it's gone, it's gone. And as I said before, I think the mock-ups would be great if uh, people actually turned them into their own little sketchbooks because the pages inside are blank. Um, so it'd be cool to see someone uh, make this into a very unique um, sketchbook. These are all items right now that I'm showing you that are on the eBay store. Click on the link to find the items. Once they're gone, they're gone. A lot of this stuff, uh, I'm down to one. Um... No, uh, the jeweled edition you're looking at is actually a Nightmare Symphony. See, he gave the shout out on that. Jay, it's a Nightmare Symphony jeweled edition. We might have some of those on the store. I would stay tuned and definitely, um, if you guys have any questions on product or anything like that, please send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. That's our customer service help desk. We'll go ahead and reply back to you guys. Uh, just so you know, it is available Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. So um, if you don't hear a quick back, uh, and it's either after 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Arizona Time, we're usually all out of the office. But we're really good at jumping back in there the next day and um, answering all the questions. Another artist proof. This is an artist proof. This is number four. 
This is the Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem Scarlet Metal Edition by Don McTague. And yes, it does have the Artist Proof COA. Dude, those mock-ups are great. Um, when Brian started offering for sale, I was floored. I was just like, I didn't think you would ever sell stuff like that. Or um, what would you uh, what would you put on those? I know I sold um, someone bought my Heaven and Hell lingerie ones I had up there. Um, there's not very many mock-ups left. They tend to be scooped up, and I've been noticing a lot of folks out in Europe. I've been scooping up a lot of those editions, like um, it was a black uh, a black metal edition I had put up, and it was gone within a minute and a half. It was not there very long. Grab it, Car <laughs> Carmen. Also, another really cool thing. This is the Lady Death Scorched Earth. This is the whiteout edition. Again, one in ten were randomly. Not one in ten. We made uh, about 10% of the run, I should say. Uh, there was these editions, and they were just randomly thrown in. Um, I only have a few on eBay, and that's it. I don't know if there's any available on the store, but you can click on the link and find out. Um, so get them while we got them. This is it. This was a Kickstarter offering um, last summer. So, so, yeah. Wow, jeez, time flies. I hear my wallet screaming from the other room. Do it, you wimp. No, no, do it, no. Scott, no, Scott, no. Go, 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 eBay store. Click the link, and it's yours. It's an AP number four. I only know of, what, maybe AP four. I, I haven't even seen an AP three go up for sale, but that's an AP four. I know we had an AP five, and that sold, uh, I want to say, Tucson or at some show, but I know I did not have any AP4 or AP5s. All I had was the AP4, so that's it. Usually only two or three of these um, get out into the public for sale. So you see it, Scott. Don't be shy. You know I wouldn't lie to you. That is almost gone. So I got eight minutes. I want to give a shout out to some really great people out there. Um, I definitely want to say, um, what? Somebody is requesting something. Let's see if we can get them on. All right, let's, let's let that gentleman join in the fun. Do it your whim. So, guys, again, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. This Wednesday, we're doing the uh, Comic-Con at home. 9 a.m. is where we're going to start offering the exclusives. So if you saw some of the cool stuff that we we're offering, Jump on it. They are limited quantities available. There's only 250, I think, is max made on any of these editions. Um, the metal one, there's only going to be a whopping 26. So all you metal fans, jump on those real quick because they will not last. Um, it's a beautiful day out here in Arizona. Whoever sent the clouds, thank you very much. Hopefully we'll get some rain this week. I'm dying for it. Um, also, uh, Wednesday, August 12th, we are launching our next – Kickstarter, so please join us. Uh, share the links uh, so we can get even more people interested in Lady Death and all of the amazing things we do here at Pop and Comics. Um, thank you very much, everyone who supported us. Just look at these editions. Mayhew Legend. There's your hollow foil one. Lenticular cover. Can't wait to see how that looks. I'm not sure, but Carmen, is this the one you were talking about, about possibly being the metal one, uh, Carmen? This is the only one that doesn't have uh, a description on the image. This is going to be the jeweled edition. <sighs> Beautiful. That is going to be one hell of a gorgeous jeweled edition. Yeah, is it that we only know you? <laughs> Jay, thank you. Um, what's your wife's name? And also, thank you for joining us. This is the homage edition we're going to be offering on Wednesday, August 12th on our Kickstarter. Check it, guys. This is really, really cool. An homage to Superman number one. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I can't even find a Pep Finera cover at all. There's the naughty. Yeah. Didn't print out for me. Unless they're holding it back for a reason. I don't know. You know, just to 
tease you guys with it. But just know if it's a metal cover, I will be working on those, uh, getting them done and made up for you guys. Also, um, look at this really, this is the type of stuff you get with our Kickstarters for stretch goals. We go way above and beyond when it comes to stretch goals. Yeah, I don't think so either. Thank you, Miguel. I appreciate it. We've got, this is from the um, previous La Muerta one, but look, there's a La Muerta box. There's bookmarks. There's a uh, enamel buttons or pins, I should say. There's buttons, there's stickers, there's trading cards, there's magnets. We just go all out. I think we have some of the coolest stretch goals ever on Kickstarter. Um, and what gets me is just when you think uh, you've seen it all, Brian comes up with a fresh idea. Hey, we're going to do this. Hey, we're going to do that. It's amazing. Look at that. Still on track to ship on early August. There you go. There's some of the La Muerta mystery envelopes, guys. You see, this is the cool stuff you find in the VIP newsletter. You got to sign up. Also, real quick, we have extended the pre-order cutoff for the Lady Death Legacy action figure to Monday, August 24th. So we extended it again. The demand has been really good. Our folks have been really interested in the figure. So we extended to August 24th is the cutoff to uh, pre-order your Lady Death action figure. So those who have uh, already signed up, guys, thank you very much who have pre-ordered your figure. The uh, really beautiful statues we had offered up, um, those are gone. Um, those, those, those look stunning. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to um, all the retailers that also uh, are supporting us here at Falcon Comics. So if you check out your local comic shops and they don't have Lady Death and you want to see Lady Death in their stores, please let them know to send a message to inquiries at Falcon Comics so we can get the ball rolling to get some of our comics into your local comic shops. So thank you very much to all the shops that have signed up. And I definitely look forward to dealing with more of you guys in the future. Also, please text SWARN to 484848. Get sales alerts sent directly to your phone. Stay in the know. Oh, here's something uh, on eBay. Um, someone picked up the Betty Page. Uh, this is a uh, Lady Death Chaos Rules Superstar Metal cover. Someone picked up the metal pinup, which was a Betty Page homage. So... Um, again, more stuff on eBay. Um, before I wrap things up, uh, I just wanted to say thank you, everybody, uh, for joining me today. Um, Mondays, I, I have to say, are probably one of the best days for me to be at work because that last hour from 4 to 5, I get to hang out with you guys. I get to talk to everyone, and um, thank you. Um, I really enjoy doing this. I hope to keep on doing it with you guys every Monday from 4 to 5 here on CBSN. This is the Coffin Comics Shopping Network. I have another minute and a half. Um, there'll be some other shows following us, but definitely, I know we do things different. Click on the links that you see. That will take you where you need to go. eBay store, and also the Coffin Comics store, and also other cool stuff, including a 15-page preview of our first chapter of Lady Death at the Coffin Comics Publishing, which is Chaos Rules. So I just want to give a quick shout out um, to you. Thank you very much. I've been Julian the Hooligan. I will see you guys Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for the coffin or the comic Comic Con at home. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday we'll be opening the vault. Really cool stuff. Really old school stuff. Carmen, you like medals? I think you're going to like what I'm going to be pulling out for that show. So each day the vault will be opening and we'll be showing new stuff. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you. I will see you guys next Monday. Everyone be safe. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy life. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.